A wooden wedge is one of the most important bushcraft and survival tools you can improvise easy by yourself. A wooden wedge is like a multi-tool. This can be helpful in thousand situations. As long as you have an axe, a machete or, or a big knife, it shouldn't be a problem to craft a wedge. But how can you improvise a wedge if you just have a small knife, like a Swiss army knife, or if you want to save your knife, if you don't want to risk that your, your blade break or your cutting edge get dull? In this video, I give you an answer on this question. So stay tuned. In the next few minutes, I'll show you my uses for shims or wedges in a bushcraft or survival scenario. And after, I'll show you my technique how you can improvise shims or wedges with just a Swiss Army knife. So, as you saw, wedges can be very different, long, short, flat, steep, large, small. But mostly a wedge should be as hard as possible and he should have a seam taper at the end. The best wood salt for your wedges is for sure a hardwood like beech or ash. But it's always the same. At the end of the day you have to work with the material you find in your specific situation. And uh, if you just find the soft wood, you can harden it in a fire. How this works, I showed you already in this old video. Now I want to show you how I craft a wedge with just a Swiss Army knife. Small wedges, like this, until a diameter about 3 cm, I craft direct with a knife, like this. So, and at the end, I make a little chamfer. And at the hammer end, I also make a little chamfer. Often, it's enough to just craft small wedges. Don't underestimate the power of a lot of small wedges. <laughs> this is sometimes better than one big wedge because you can spread the forces better. 
For bigger wedges and trims like this, we use a trick and some small wedges. First of all, I have to say, if you want to split a lock in this diameter, never split the lock with a Swiss Army knife like this. Because like this, you destroy your knife for sure. Better is just open the blade 90 degrees, put it on the point you want to split and hit direct over the center of the knife blade, like this. Like this, you don't have forces on the axis and you don't destroy the spring here. Then take out the knife carefully. So and now you have an initial split. The rest you make with the wooden wedges you carved right before. But if you split like this, you split the branch in two halves. This is not what we want. What we want is something like this. We want a wedge. If you want to split a long wedge, you have to make the initial split somewhere in the second third between the middle point and the bark. That means from here to here, somewhere here. Now, take a wedge, and as you can see, this split goes always towards the outside of the bark. That means you create a wedge. So, this is the result. After splitting, here's the thick end, thin end. And now one side is round. Next step is to flatten this round side and I have to taper it a little bit better. And now, two minutes later, we have a thin tapered hardwood wedge, super nice, super helpful, quick and easy. So my friend, that's it for today. I hope you liked this little trick. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday. Ciao!